All right, RCB, this is day eight of uh, Bold is Fit, Get Ripped with RCB series. Uh, and today is the day when Phantom Boss is going to work out and I'm going to just chew his brains up. And uh, all right, we've got two formats, power play A, power play B. And uh, the A part of the workout remains the same with what we've been doing in the previous days. It's gonna be 30 seconds back to back, three exercises for four rounds, that's six minutes of warm up. And then we take a quick 30 seconds break and move into what we call the B segment of power play, which is gonna be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, five exercises. It's gonna be a 20 minute round because it's gonna be four rounds of uh, five exercises back to back with a 30 seconds or 20 seconds break after every exercise. So um, moving on to what we call the power play A, we've got uh, reverse lunge, pulses, pretty simple a warm up. All you gotta do is get into um, a reverse lunge and just without coming out of it, just go down and up. Every 30 seconds you change leg, the next exercise is froggers or sprawls, whatever you want to call it. You got to get into, yeah, it's a mini, don't have to get up, it's a mini burpee. Also, the third one is an inchworm, opens up your entire posterior, so the lunge opens up your quads, flexors, core. The froggers open up your lower back, a little bit of flexors again. And inchworm's going to open up your hamstring, glutes, uh, lower back, right? So you got to do these three exercises back to back for six minutes, that's four rounds. And then we could take a quick 30 seconds break move on to the B part of the power play which we've got um, we've got some variations on today the variations are pretty simple we've got three squat plus one squat jump making it the first exercise that we got to do so it's going to be pretty simple three squats one two three and the fourth one is going to be a squat jump right and up so basically four reps together makes it one rep you got to keep doing this back to back for 40 seconds then we get on to our hold of the day which is bear stands hold you stay there for 40 seconds. Then we've got skater jumps, side to side. You just hop it around uh, laterally for 40 seconds. Post that, we've got sumo squat hold, the second hold for the day. Go a little wider on your stance. This is to open up your inner thighs, your groin, your glutes, your hamstrings, right? And the last one's gonna be a two forward lunge and two uh, jumping lunge together. So you do a forward lunge one, two, and now you do two jumping lunges. Yeah. All right, so you gotta keep doing this with an alternate leg for 40 seconds. Cool. So uh, pretty much uh, we've summed up the entire power play. So now if Phantom Boss is ready, we are ready to roll. And uh, if he's ready, we're gonna start off in five, four, three, two, one. And that's day eight. Let's go. Yes, buddy. We've got reverse lunge pulses. You choose the side you probably wanna start off with and you keep going um, on for 30 seconds and then we move on to froggers and then inchworms. Hope you are liking our workouts guys. If you are, just talk to us about um, what you like the most about the workout and what you do not like the most about the workout on the YouTube comment section or the Facebook or Instagram, wherever you probably want to share your feedback. Go ahead and do it. And in three seconds, we change to froggers. Let's go, 30 seconds of froggers. Try to get your palm and your feet as close as you can. If you cannot get that, it's okay. But the whole idea is to get as close as you can to your palms. Right? Another 10 more seconds of froggers and then we move to inchworm. Now that's, this is slowly getting closer to his palms. Just when your hip starts opening up, you'll start seeing good amount of work there. And change, let's go inchworms. Let's fix a little bit of your uh, hamstrings too. Try to avoid bending a lot of your knees. Try to reach with your glutes and lower back and your hamstring stretching. Right? Let's go. Come on, buddy. That's gonna be six minutes of today's work. In 10 seconds, we will change to reverse lunge uh, pulsing on the other side. Guys, the whole purpose of the power play one is to make sure that you warm for the next rounds. So uh, do not take this very casually either. Make sure you follow the time and change into reverse lunge pulses. All the way down, all the way down and up. All the way down and up. Keep pulsing it. This basically stretches your quads, your deeper flexor muscles, your core. And while that happens, your quads are gonna be on fire. And this is just to prepare your brain to know that um, today it's gonna do a uh, good amount of work on lower body. 10 more seconds of uh, pulsing. 
you could choose to alternate legs also if you probably want to uh, because if it's burning a lot not hold on and change to froggers come on 30 seconds of froggers yeah let go of your hands yeah guys if you eventually you have to let go of your hands then drop them back again get your foot right next to your palms 15 more seconds of froggers and then we will move into inchworms and that will be the end of round number 2 keep it going buddy and change let's go 30 seconds of inchworm keep it going 20 seconds of inchworm hope you guys are staying safe staying indoors avoiding uh, going out as much as you can work out from home guys it's important to stay fit at this hour let's go in 3 2 1 we move on to round number 3 of reverse lunge pulsing on the opposite side right keep it going quads are going to be on fire keep breathing guys the whole keep while you work out is breathe make sure you get enough oxygen in only if you breathe in get your oxygen in is when you will start using your fat as energy source and change let's go froggers froggers coming up for 30 seconds the whole key here is to make sure you go wider on your knees get your foot place right next to your palms 15 more seconds of froggers and then we move into inchworm 10 more seconds to go keep breathing keep the reps on and change inchworms stretch your hammies glutes inchworms 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 the apple cake uh, that chris usually eats for pre workout uh, has uh, rum mi mixed in it i feel today <laughs> we got 10 more seconds of inchworms and then we move into the last round of power play 1 and change reverse lunge pulses one last time for power play 1 30 seconds and let's go 30 seconds on Keep it going Keep it going and change let's go froggers buddy 30 seconds of froggers then to plank jump into a squat take your hands off again let's go keep doing this for another 20 more seconds 20 more seconds of froggers and then inchworms and we get a good 30 seconds break moving into power play 2 this is day 8 of bold is fit get ripped with rcb series And three, two, one, and let's move into inchworm. Let's go one last time. Thirty seconds. Come, oh, buddy. Let's start. Get a good break after this. Get a break for thirty seconds, and move to power play. Two. Twenty minutes of back-to-back -back workout. Ten more seconds. Last ten seconds. By now, your body's gonna be on fire. warmed up stretched out activated and that's the end relax we get a good 30 seconds break and then we'll move to power play 2 pretty simple movements today we've done these most of these movements uh, in our past series or in the past days so uh, you really do not have to worry about your form because i'm sure by now you've got your form right see you guys in 30 seconds get your water hydrate yourself if you require uh, put mix a little bit of salt sugar and lime into the water so that you are hydrated and recover with your uh, vitamins right
Okay, power play two, and we've got 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, five exercises back to back, four rounds, and we'll start off with three squat and one squat jump collectively becoming one rep. And are you ready, Fando? And let's go in three, two, one, and begin. So three squats, and fourth is the jump. Three squats, and fourth is the jump. Like that, you gotta go on for 40 seconds, and jump. So three squats and a jump. You gotta keep doing that for 40 seconds. With this, we get to the halfway into the round. Quads are gonna be on fire. Bear stands hold coming up next. Keep it going. Fan boss killing it today, as usual. Getting there, getting there. This is how I open my act. Start being nice. And if you can't do the jump, you just gotta do is and break. 20 seconds of break. Now we move into bear crawl stands. Ten more seconds. Five, three, two, one, and up. Hold it there. Breathe. Breathe as much as you can. This is the round to recover. Get some oxygen flowing into your legs. Focus on where it's hurting the most and breathe into that, guys. Breathe into that. All right. You can go up a little. Uh, get it. Go up a little front. Yeah. Even with your legs, so that uh, you fit into the camera angle. It's gonna be a very tough day for me to organize uh, the Phantom Boss to fit into the camera. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and break. And now we've got scare hops. We had our shoulders on fire yesterday. Today is gonna be quads, glutes, hamstrings on fire. 10 more seconds before we move on to the next bit of our workout which is skater hops for 40 seconds. Right, in 3, 2, 1 and go. Just lateral hop it, push off and land on the other side. Stabilize and again push off. Do this for 40 seconds. Works heavily on your ankles for stability. Works on the lateral side of your body for stability of your hips. So we jump forward, we jump up, and now we are jumping sideways, right? We need all the way, all the dimensions of jumping going in. Make sure you activate your muscles all around. We have five more seconds, five more seconds, and we take a break, and that's break, right? Now we've got a hold coming up again. That's a sumo squat hold. Let's open up uh, the deeper fibers of your inner thighs. Work a little bit on your groin, your hamstrings. Right, just hold it there. It's not going to be an easy hold for sure after all the quad work that we've done. And let's go. Hold it there. Chest up. Try to get your try to get your chest up nice and straight. You don't have to reach into the deeper range from the minute go. Breathe in and start start going down so that you can feel a good stretch going into your groin, your inner thighs. And once you get comfortable, hold there, hold it there and breathe. Guys, the whole point here for the holes is to breathe where it hurts so that you get your oxygen moving into those tired muscles so that everything that needs to be cleaned out of the tired muscle is moving out asap -ish. and fresh blood moves in, right? And break. 20 seconds break and then we move into what we call a two forward lunge on the same leg and immediately you do two jumps on the same leg and then you change the side. You keep doing this for 40 seconds. Alternating. So first you start with right, two forward lunges, then immediately get into a forward lunge and jump. And change. Let's go just follow what Chris is doing. Yeah, two forward lunges. Now you get into the forward lunge and jump. One and two. Now come back. Now get into the other leg. Two forward lunges on your other side. Now come back and jump it two times. One and two. Right, we do this for another 20 seconds. One, two. Easy movements, guys. You gotta keep moving into the exercise format. Do not take a lot of breaks. Take it easy, but do not forget to breathe. Right? 10 seconds. Five more seconds into this round, and then we will start round two and break. 20 seconds of break. Now we move into three squat, one squat jump. 
It's not going to be easy after uh, the forward lunges and the jumps that you've done and the holds that you've been doing in the previous round. It just gets tougher from there. But the whole key is that do not stop. Keep going on and on and on and on. Right? Three, two, one, and go. Let's go. Three squats. And fourth one's a jump. One, two. Choose whatever you want to do. You could pulse it, you could squat it, you could do one squat, take break, second squat, take break. But the key here is to make sure that you are moving for 40 seconds. 40 seconds non stop. Halfway into this round, we've got uh, bear stance hold coming up next after our 20 seconds break. 10 more seconds to go. And change to a break. We get into bear stance uh, hold. In 10 seconds, let's move into holding. Uh, Three, two, one, and go. And up. Hold it there. Your quads are going to give you some amount of uh, will testing scenario. You've got to make sure that uh, you do not leave uh, the rep incomplete. Do not quit. Do not stop. Train like no fan boss who's not given up on a single rep from our round one into second round of of the power play to be non-stop. He's doing great for a 36-year-old. Five more seconds to go. And break. While... Can you just say that? I don't know what to do today. Yeah, guys, he's uh, an inspiration to a lot of uh, senior citizens in our country. We've got five more seconds. And we've got the master. Master, I do not mean that master is like master is the category master. And let's go, buddy. Time's up. Skater hops. Master Phantom. We've got 25 more seconds of skater hops, and then we move into the next bit of the exercise, which is sumo squat. Hold. Definitely, this this round is going to be much better in terms of uh, the hold because you have opened up some amount of muscle fibers from the previous hold and break it. Twenty seconds of break, then move into sumo squat holds for forty seconds and followed by the forward lunge to forward lunge jumps. And that would be the end of round number two, and then we'll have two more rounds of power play. Two. And let's get into the hold in three, two, one, and go. Keep it going. Keep it going, do not stop. Ten more seconds. Get your hands off. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. I will keep your chest upright so that you feel a deeper stretch in your flexor muscles, and the hold gets slightly more difficult. And break. Last exercise for round number two, which is gonna be two each forward lunges followed by two each forward lunge jump. In ten seconds, we should be ready with this exercise. And three, two, one, and go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And keep it going, keep it going. Halfway into the workout. At the end of this exercise, we'll be halfway into uh, power play 2 as well. We've got 10 more minutes of power play 2 coming up after this round gets done, which gets done in 3, 2, and break. 20 seconds of break, and then we come back for round number 3, 
which would be three squat plus one squat jump. In 10 seconds, we will move into round number three and that would be in five, four, three, two, one and hit it buddy. Let's go. The fourth one, the fourth rep is gonna be a jump, three squats and up. That's 17 seconds into the workout. Tough one, but what you gotta do is gotta keep moving. Ten more seconds, ten more seconds. Ten more seconds, buddy. And twenty more seconds of break. And we'll get into best and hold. And scatter jumps followed by sumo squat hold and two each forward lunges, two each forward lunge jumps. And in five seconds we'll get into holding the bear stance. And that's up. Let's go. Hold it there for 40 seconds. Keep your knees as close as you can to the, to the ground so that the work's done is on your quads, on your core, and a little bit on your shoulder triceps. That's halfway into this round. You've got 20 more seconds. The apple cake uh, diet for Fan Boss is doing wonders. And break. He's not quit on a single rep today from the minute go to now. He's just trying to prove a point. I have no clue. I have no clue. And five, four, three, two, and skater jumps, skater jumps, buddy. Skater jumps, come on. Oh, 10, mo 10 uh, seconds up and 40 more to go, 30 more to go. I'm gonna do skater, uh, skater uh, shuffles along with uh, Phantom Boss. This is definitely not the progression guys. This is just to keep my legs warm. So that the blood's flowing into my head as well. Not easy to deal with uh, Phantom Boss's uh, comebacks. And break. That's gonna be 20 seconds of break and then move into sumo squat hold. Five more seconds to go. Three, two, one. And sumo squat hold it. Elbows off the knee, chest up. Gonna work a little bit on your groin, your inner thighs, your hamstrings. Basically, this would get easier if your hamstrings are flexible. If you stretch your hamstrings out and do this, you will start feeling a little bit of easy, easiness in doing this. Your flexors, if you stretch your flexors regularly, which is your muscles here and here and here, then you'll start feeling uh, this easy. If you do this a lot on a day-to-day -day basis, your day-to-day -day movements become easy in terms of uh, your mobility on your hip, ankle, Back gets uh, less stiff when you wake up. And break. We've got 20 seconds of break. Now we've got one last exercise for round number three, which is two forward lunges to two forward lunge jumps. Right? We start off in 10 seconds. And then we will start our final round for power play two. Post that, right? We've got five, four, three, two, and go. Two forward lunges and two forward lunge jumps on the same side. Quads are gonna feel a uh, good amount of burn today. So, the holes, uh, they seem to be very easy guys, but they legit uh, test your willpower. Because your brain is completely focusing on the pain at that minute because you're not moving, you cannot think about anything else but the pain that hits you. That's where you get better, the holes make you better. And two jumps. 
and break. That's the end of round number three, and we come back in 20 seconds, doing the last round. Once Phantom Boss gets his recovery, which is gonna be in another 10 seconds, and five, four, three. Two and one last time power play two for day eight and the last round coming up. Two, you did two. Three squats and the fourth one's gonna be a jump, guys. So three squat and the fourth one's gonna be a jump. And now you gotta jump. Yeah. That's the rep that you gotta do. One, two, three, and down and jump. You gotta do this for another 20 seconds, buddy. We're halfway into this round. Do not stop, you've done pretty well for today. Day 8, we've got three more days coming up after uh, today's episode. Definitely, I'm sure you guys would have seen some amount of change in your uh, handbrake. In your workout levels, you would have started finding these workouts pretty easier than day 1. Your, your sleep would have improved for sure. If not for anything else, quality sleep is important along with nutrition. It's just not working out that's gonna give you results. And let's go. Round two and best hands one last time for power play two. Hold there, hold there steady. Do not move. Breathe into the sore part of your body. Breathe into the muscles that are crying for help, crying with pain. Just breathe. Oxygen into that particular part of the body is gonna help you. And breathe heavy, guys. If you have to suck in a lot of oxygen, do that. It's okay. Ten more seconds of hold. And break it. 20 seconds of uh, break and we move into skater jumps, skater hops or side lunges, whatever you want to do. I would prefer you guys do the hop or the jump. Side lunges for somebody who just cannot jump and not able to land and be in a stabilized position. And three, two, one, and go. Hop it, side to side, 40 seconds. Halfway into the round four of power play two. And then we will move into the RCB countdown. We've got a good lineup of workout in the countdown. Two rounds of RCB countdown. We've got 60 seconds, 50 seconds, 40, 30, 20, and uh, 10 seconds of negligible break there. And we do that two times. We've got 10 more seconds of skater hops and then move into sumo squat hold and break. 20 seconds break coming up. With this, we would uh, proceed into the sumo squat hold followed by the forward lunge into lunge jumps. 10 more seconds, recover as much as you can. The sumo squat hold also is a form of recovery for your heart and lungs. And let's go. It's a non-exhaustive uh, cardio movement, but uh, because your muscles are so sore, the demand for oxygen is high and you start breathing in heavy. 15 seconds into the movement, we've got 25 more seconds. Halfway. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and change. Twenty seconds of work. Sorry, 20 seconds of rest, followed by 40 seconds of work coming up in 10 seconds. Phantom boss's shots have become tight. Some quad gains there. Pumps real. Okay, it's a uh, family show. And let's go! Two uh, forward lunge, followed by two forward lunge jumps. One last round for round number four and power play two for day eight coming up. Two lunch, followed by two jumps. Keep it going.
Ten more seconds to go. And that's the end of power play two coming up. That's a good job by Phantom. He's not taken a single second of uh, break between the work rounds. So that's something uh, fabulous. All right. That's uh, RCB countdown uh, coming up, and that's Phantom Boss uh, non-stop today. So we've got uh, five exercises back to back uh, on a different timing format. Uh, we've got uh, 60 seconds of two jab, one hook. We've got 50 seconds of squat jack. We've got 40 seconds of jumping jack. We've got 30 seconds of plank steps. All right, I was waiting. I was waiting for you to start your moves, but you didn't. All right, so we've got uh, two, yeah, and yeah, we've got that for 60 seconds. We've got squat jacks for 50. We've got jumping jacks for 40. We've got plank taps for 30. Can you do plank? Yeah, yeah, shoulder taps. And we've got uh, lateral jumps non-stop for 20 seconds. Yeah. All right, so two rounds with a 10 seconds break in between. That's a seven minute round. And that, with that, we wrap up day eight. And we're gonna start off in four, three, two, one, and go. Two jab, one hook. For 60 seconds, that's 10 seconds. This is why I'm not messing with the fan boss today because I know by the end of uh, today's episode he's gonna be a kind of trained boxer. I do not, I do, do not do that, do not do that. Trust me, uh, just jab and uh, hook. And after today's uh, one minute of jab and hook training, guys, do not go pick up a fight on the street. This is not gonna help you. This is not gonna help you. Do not call yourself a boxer. This is just to up your heart rate. Simply just to up your heart rate. Right, we've got eight more seconds. Move into squat jacks in three, two, one, and let's go. Got uh, 40 more seconds of squat jacks. Heart rate's on fire. 20 more seconds uh, to go. It's a pretty long round. It only gets easier as you progress into the workout, but by then you've already exhausted most amount of your energy and willpower. So even the 20 seconds of lateral jumps will seem damn long. We've got 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds to go. That'd be five more. Move into jumping jacks for 40 seconds in three, two, one and go. So, this is the final burn round for uh, today's workout. We call it the RCB countdown, but legit, it's a burner because you are you're not stopping for seven minutes in a row. After the 26 minutes of a workout, the seven minutes will seem uh, very long and not doable. But it is pretty much every movement is doable and easy. All you gotta do is just keep fighting, keep fighting and uh, keep breathing. Another five more seconds and then we would break and move into uh, shoulder taps and let's go. 30 seconds of shoulder taps. Get into plank, get into plank, get tougher. All you gotta do is stay in a plank and alternate shoulder tap it for 30 seconds. 15 seconds up with this. We've got another 10 more seconds from now. Five, four, three, two, and let's go. Last 20 seconds, ladder hops. Do not stop. Keep going side to side. Take your body along with your uh, jumps. Do not make, make sure your shoulders do not stay in one place. So you hop with your entire body and hop back. And break, 10 seconds break, and we will move into uh, round number two of two jab and one hook in five, four, three, two, one, and go. 
60 seconds. That's 30 seconds into uh, shadow boxing. The looks that uh, Phantom Boss is uh, giving while he's doing this is like of a world champion. 15 more seconds. You only get an apple cake for uh, being this good today. A well behaved uh, beast. And in three, two, one, we move into squat jacks for 50 seconds. The last round for today, guys. Last round for today. We would end in another two and a half minutes. That's all we've got for today. So do not stop. Keep going. Keep moving. There's no break at all till the end of uh, this round. Be prepared to not stop. Tell yourself you don't want to stop. We've got another easy 30 more seconds. The squat jacks. After the boxing, uh, shadow boxing will legit hurt you. Heart rate's up. The heart rate's gonna be up. And this is where we'll want to stop. But do not stop. We've got jumping jacks in 10 seconds. And then we've got plank shoulder taps. Followed by lateral jumps. Non-stop. And let's go. Jumping jacks. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Keep breathing. Heart rate's up. But you gotta keep breathing, not stop. Go as fast as you can. Got uh, 25 more seconds from now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Last bit of today's uh, workout. In 20 seconds, uh, you should pack and wrap and move into recovering from today's workout, which is by eating well, getting enough fluids in, getting some good amount of sleep. And three, two, one, and plank taps. All we've got is 50 seconds of workout. Let's go, buddy. 50 seconds of workout remaining for today. Day eight. We are at the end of day number eight. 50 seconds to go. And we would wrap after this. So do not stop. Just count till the end of uh, this round. And we will be done. 10 more seconds of plank shoulder taps. Then we move into quick lateral hops non-stop. And we trap, we trap. Come on, come on, do not stop. Think about the last 20 seconds. This is the finisher, guys. And change, let's go. Last 20 seconds. You gotta give it your all because after this, you can lie down for as long as you'd want to recover, breathe, eat your favorite food. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and that's the end of day eight. And a good workout by the Phantom Boss today. Let's give it to him for being non-stop. He's uh, followed every single rep uh, to the T today. There were, be there were no breaks in between the round at all. And that's great because he's been putting in that amount of work. You gotta put in that amount of work too. You will for sure see results. Right, so tomorrow it'll be me coming back, working out with you guys again with all the breaks and cribbing and uh, non-stop uh, ranting by Phantom Boss. Till then, enjoy your day, recover. See you tomorrow, day 9 coming up. Yeah. Ta -da.